So after Fable 1, you know, people really, you know, debated and talked about good and evil and, oh, why, would, why wasn't there more choices in the game? But actually, what we found was that about 90% of the people that play Fable 1 could not bring themselves to be evil. They just couldn't do it. It's too firmly conditioned in your mind that good, if you're good, you get good things happening. If you're evil, you get bad things happening. But our real challenge is, how can we think of those moral challenges for you that are not just all about killing and saving? How you play this game, whether you're good or evil, pure, corrupt, cruel or kind, rich or poor, your hero can change so radically, it's unbelievable. Because, it, because the hero in particular can be anything from dressed as a, a chicken, to dressed as, as an evil knight. You, you can look innocent and good and holy, but be evil, and it'll trick everybody, because they'll go, here's a saint, and then you kill them. The, the scope has to be quite big for the player to be able to tailor the, the type of character they, they want to be. It was important to us, um, after Fable 1, to make sure that we had uh, enough variety for, for everybody. Um, Fable 1 had uh, the good and the evil, and the fat and the thin um, male hero. Uh, the female hero was was going to be a, a massive challenge for us because it, we thought it's it's more or less double the work. Um, but it turns out, due to the nature of what Fable is, that uh, it wasn't double the work because the female hero can choose to wear any clothing in the game just as the male hero can. Now I think it's important in terms of choice for the for there to be a female hero and uh, and there's a, a lot of comedy involved in that as well when you come to play the game. It's worth playing it to play it both ways just to see what happens. I found it quite an interesting experience just being a woman and you know people not taking me seriously but just chatting me up and I kind of felt I felt slightly abused by it. Psychologically, I found there was a point that I came to in the game and I thought, oh God, no, I, I, can't, I can't pretend to be a woman anymore. I've got to go back to being, a, you know, I've got to be a man again. You are a hero within this world and like the butterfly wings um, in Africa creating a hurricane in America, your, the little things that you do can make a huge change in the world. Regions that you visited early on in the game will be different later on in the game due to things that you or others or other influences may have had on that region. And that is really interesting when it comes to, again, to co-op. When you, Kai, come into your world and I, I say, just a minute, I, I haven't even got a town here. How come there's a, a settlement here? When we sat down and thought about co-op, firstly we thought, well, this is a role-playing game. There aren't many role-playing games I can think of that have got full co-op in it. And we listed down some features it had to have. Instantaneous, in and out co-op at any stage of the game. I'll be playing along in my world um, and I might see my sister. I can then interact with her. You can see people, these ghosts of people, moving around the world. You can walk up to one of those ghosts and you can, you can talk to them on the microphone, you can type in uh, on the virtual keyboard, you can have a look at their stats, you can gift them stuff, and most importantly, you can invite them into your world. You come into my world, you should still be levelling up in my world. Why should it be a completely separate experience? As a henchman, you earn golden experience. And I could, we, us two can negotiate how much golden experience you get can have quite a, a distant kind of experience but you kind of know where they are and how they're kind of progressing with the world to going the full hog and uh, co-oping with them. What people are doing is looking at uh, visiting other people's worlds and those people are just showing off. Hey have a look at my wife, have a look at my house, have a look at my dog, look at what I look like because there's so many unique heroes. People just come in, they spend 15 minutes in someone's world Oh, that's pretty cool. Where did you find that? How did you get that? And then go back to their world.